Civil War, it's October 1863. Since my last stream, uh, we fought a skirmishing cavalry action up in eastern Kentucky. And uh, Hardy's cavalry force was forced back. We, uh, there was a really messed up AI battle and uh, it kind of replayed itself and with the same result. But this time it was an honest battle and the AI didn't mess up. But I, I scout a huge amount of forces in eastern uh, Kentucky. I, I think it's like 60, 70, 80,000 here, which is nice in a way because they're not pushing down on the army of Tennessee, which consists of only... 37,000 men. So I really wonder how many Union forces are there up in the northeast of Kentucky up here. Maybe not that many. But for now I'm happy that they're building a depot and resting. And then I fell back through London through something called the Cumberland Gap here. And we had Leo's cav cavalry was pursuing but now they so they were all the way down, well, they were at least in Harrodsburg here. But they seem to have been falling back. So all in all, we, we lost Eastern Kentucky, but we delayed a lot of Union forces during the summer of 1863. I think that's, a, that's an okay result of the, of the campaign. I intended to uh, capture all of Kentucky. That didn't happen, but uh, maybe that saved the rest of the front because the Union didn't make any progress anywhere else either. So it's kind of a draw. Now, a very un unpleasant surprise was the fall of uh, Chattanooga. I'm still not quite sure how these forces got here. Uh, they probably walked down here through the Cumberland Pat Gap. Uh, the same way through Knoxville, down here, same way as the Kentucky Cavalry Forces now. Uh, Oh, we got a second cavalry perk. All right. Hmm. Anyhow, the most interesting thing here is that finally I have grouped up a, a counterattack force here, the Army of Georgia. Unfortunately, it is Major General Cook who is in command and he is not our best commander. Maybe I should appoint another field command. I think I'll do that. I think I'll give some excellent core leader an independent command here. Let's just decide who that's gonna be. I mean, I... Yeah. Um, Magruder is an awesome commander. I think I'll give the army to Magruder. He has three stars experience. <clears throat> Walker, he's good, three stars. Jones, he doesn't have a lot of experience in his new position. He's been quite recently promoted. He's a good commander. Oh, he's in charge of the artillery corps. All right. And we have uh, Brian here commanding the, the the North, no, the South Carolinians. He's not, he's not a great commander, so it's not going to be him. But look at, look at Magruder. Isn't that who we want in charge for the army of... Where is he from? He's a Virginian. Mm. Yeah. Thing is, <laughs> who do we replace him with? Uh, Robertson is defamed. Evans, no, he's a cavalry leader. That means we need to uh, promote a very promising uh, division commander. Deschler. Loring. Johnson. Mm -mm. Solicoffer? No. Nope. Smith? No. So Northern Virginia has the Corps Commander, uh, who could become the Army Commander. We don't quite have the right Division Commander to... Little here is a good commander, but he doesn't have a lot of experience. Army of the West. See how I'm... Lee is good. Seems a bit inexperienced to be promoted. Pierce could be Pierce. He could get a core, but it might also be uh, Kirby Smith. 
from uh, Florida, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. West Point graduate Kirby Smith, congratulations! You are getting a uh, core command. So how? Who do we replace him with? He's still two stars. We need to replace him um, with a an infantry. Sorry, should have done this before I started. Uh, ooh, look at this guy. He's, he's okay for a. Did I give him a brigade? Yeah, no, a division. I gave him a division, didn't I? Okay. Uh, that's fine for now. That's fine for now. So we'll head back to Army of Virginia, was it? Uh, now I'm confused. Can we do? Can we replace this guy now? Yeah, we can. Kirby Smith. And Army of Georgia. Is that a cook? Who is an artillery guy? And there's not that much artillery down here. It doesn't feel... I think Magruder is well worth uh, an independent... You know, we can keep him as a major general. And if he's successful in the battle, we'll uh, promote him. So we get... I'm not super happy about... St Stevenson is great. But I'm not super happy about Pillow. But I think we'll have to uh, just live with him for now. Okay, Magruder, it's all up to you. Lead our 30,000 men to battle. Sorry about that little mini mi micromanagement. So we have Thomas Cavalry. I can't see who's the commander. Now they're up to 25,000 strength with 55 guns. According to my scouts. Well, that's great because now we can move the Kentucky Cavalry Corps. See, I I need to coordinate these two armies' movements now, and I don't I don't know how to do that. We will try to move the West Virginia Corps in first. And uh, we'll move it all the way up ar along the rail here. Does it, it says move at a time. Okay. But I mean, that's that's inst that's right now. We want them to move right now. We want the Georgia Corps to move up here as well. Right now, on rail. And we'll have the Kentucky... I, mean, it, I don't think you can set a synchronized time like you need to arrive at this very specific mo uh, moment. So I'm just gonna hope this works out good, well. Uh, and also the army headquarters needs to be given an individual order. And here we go. I'll talk a bit about finances while moving. We are running a hundred million dollar uh, deficit of our national budget. Unfortunately, our corporate tax consists of eight million. I was really hoping it was going to be more, but it's not going to save us. I, I can just we our army upkeep is so high that um, we we just can't afford this this field army of two hundred thousand men, two hundred nine thousand men. Whereas the Union can easily afford 300,000. So, after the summer of 1863, you can start feeling the pain of the economical burden of arm. I mean, I guess at least I have the armies. It's better to have the armies that you can't afford than not having them. And so I think I, I need to start l loaning money now. The Georgia Corps is very slow. Uh, I don't know why. This is worrying because and these guys aren't moving. They still have the order though. But they don't have... Look, they don't have any order delay. Yet they're not moving. Are they waiting for rail movement? Maybe. 
Uh, we're using 49 out of 110 rail. Okay, so these guys really don't want to move. Maybe it's because it was night time. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. What's our first? The first is Bureau of Military Information. Order delays. Intelligence getting movement speed 5%. Flying column, maximum supplies. Maybe maximum supplies would be nice on a cavalry army. You do have the uh, partisan brigades and bushwhackers, which make the skirmish inefficiency rating support hit. But I mean, I don't know what that is, skirmishing efficiency. So you have Bureau military information is intelligence gathering 10%. If I were to add expert scouts, intelligence gathering would be 25%. Level up by scouting. That's the thing. I don't go around scouting with this army. So I think I give them uh, more supplies with uh, or is it the flying column. Also more movement speed. Let's do that. There we go. I wanted to assign the perk before the battle so I get experience on the perk. You do get level by marching. Hmm. And okay, so I guess that's a bit weird. We're using 43 rail capacity. We're using 45, 55 before. So I think these two armies could have moved on rail, both of them, and be within 110 rail capacity. Army of Northern Virginia preparing siege. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. I think we'll, we'll, we'll just have to be okay. We don't have forces to reinforce up there, whether we're heavily outnumbered or not. Can you see 50% 50, 50 chance of victory? So I guess they're not outnumbering us extremely heavily if we still have a 50% chance to win. We need to win this battle and then we'll send forces back north, of course. It would be, here we go. Are you ready for this? We are... Wait... Uh, some, is something missing? Yeah, Georgia Corps is not on the map. They're gonna be on the map in one hour. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Hey, Knipe, Knipe, Knipe. He's a good commander with two stars. He's, he's only a brigadier general though. That's pretty weird that they have a brigadier in command of the army. We have three times their artillery. So let, let that work in our uh, advantage. That we can use our artillery. We also out on them three to one in, in cavalry, so we have the move, movement ability. Okay, so I think we, even though we're attacking, or should be attacking, uh, I think and hope we can be able to push them off the battlefield and push them back north from Chattanooga up through the Appalachian Mountains into maybe Kentucky. I don't know where they're gonna retreat. I don't know how they even survive down here in Chattanooga. Maybe they are eating Chattanooga food. Uh, we actually outnumber the Union three to two for once. It has always been the other way around. I'd say this is the first, no, it's not the first. It's the first major battle where we outnumber them heavily. So I'm, I'm very happy that I have been able to recruit new troops, send some decent troops. It's, it's a very green army and the officers aren't great. We definitely don't have any fancy arm, arms, weapons, except the cavalry forces, of course. The cavalry is elite and with very modern... It's a meeting engagement. That's good. That's good. I like that. I mean, it's even... Somehow they've been sitting in Chattanooga for half a year 
and that's unlucky for the Union. I don't know why they don't get a d defensive battle, but I, I'll take it. I'll take it. So we are coming in from. Huh, we are to be coming. Oh, we are. Oh, we're coming in from two places. The cavalry up. All right. That's that's fairly nice. That's very nice. Uh, the Georgia Div Division. Army of Georgia. This is the entire army. We're just gonna head up towards here. Um, oh, and they're also put into marching columns march columns that's nice thank you uh, let's see this is should be the cavalry here and the hardy yes they are in marching columns as well excellent um, I think they'll follow the, the railway let's put, put them here okay So Pillow commands the Georgia Corps, 10,000 men. Whereas Stevenson commands the Virginia Corps, West Virginia Corps. Now, there is a Georgia Corps, uh, division in this here, the third Georgia division. And those are definitely my best troops. They've been in multiple battles. The West Virginians here, they've been in uh, one single battle. So this is not their first battle. So... Um, maybe I'll, I'll use them to take the... Wait, why did they move from... I wanted to keep them in marching columns. Uh... Okay. So we'll send the West Virginians up this road here. We'll keep the Georgians back here as a reserve. Well, or not a reserve, but we'll have them march behind uh, because they're gonna they're gonna be green. It's the first battle. Wait, where did the West Virginians go? Yeah, they don't want to go up into line, do they? Or column. They really insist on being in... Uh... Mm, I don't know. Okay, there you go. Hmm. As soon as you uh, rearrange them, they do change formation here from marching columns. Okay, so, okay, look at this. They have four stars, two star. Oh, that's artillery. So we're gonna. Here's the thing. If I don't arrange them manually, they're gonna be uh, severely screwed up. I'm so I'm sorry. I don't want to do this, but if I don't, the game is unplayable. Uh, you need to order each individual unit uh, one by one. Trust me. Trust me. Go back and watch my uh, my series here, and you know what I'm, what I'm saying is, is is true. So I'm just gonna place them on the road as best as I can. There we go. And West Virginia, I think one of these brigades is okay. Yeah, we have one with one star. So that will be our rear guard reserve. There we go. Okay. Uh, I wish that was it, but I guess I can mark. Okay, this, we're gonna go with this. We also have 19 engineering points that will be useless in this battle. So we're just gonna go and off we are. It's 10.20 in the morning, 6th of October. Battle of Chattanooga has begun, and the second West Virginia gonna march up here to the crossing, road crossing here. Walk. And the first Georgia division gonna walk up here to this forest. Yes, I do not want to do this manually one by one. 
but I want to win this battle and I don't want my troops to arrive in, in a mess. We have Adam's regiment and we have the first Mississippi Colt revolving guys here we're gonna move them up so there we go and as we soon as soon as we see these move uh, we can send more troops along this is maybe my only my second large offensive battle i don't think i'm willing to take the micromanagement the uh, aspect of it now because i don't think the enemy is going to retreat since we're fairly balanced when it comes to numbers. I'm, I'm hoping for a field battle here. Double speed. Move out, lads. It's a great idea that you're able to give a command to larger uh, formations, but it really doesn't work. It's uh, it's just not it's not there yet. You can also order troops to not walk on the roads. That is, I mean, why would I now? Now I don't see any reason to do that. Um, did I not move the cavalry commanders up? Oh yeah, they are. This is going to be quite a lot of micromanagement just to get this, this army marching. Huh. I wonder if I could... This is the... Where's the Georgia artil artillery? Oh, it's here. We don't have a lot of artillery in this, um, in this army, do we? Okay. So let's start marching this infantry up here on, along the road. I mean, at least they are sticking to roads fairly well. That that's that that's that works. Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we have we have time. Uh, it's more that it's bothersome and boring to move troops around than it that it's really. It doesn't really matter for the battle itself. I'd say we have plenty of time to form up and and uh, engage the enemy. Cavalry is very fast. Uh, that's not a. That's okay. Oh, this is. Uh, it's painful. It's painful. But as you can see, my troops here are still intact, well rested, and in excellent shape. Mm. I guess we cross Dobbs branch in march column and then we form up in line. All oh, right. I am an idiot. Um, they're not defending here. I'm, I'm just gonna march here as soon as possible. Because if I capture it, I, I get defense. Uh, I, I was thinking I should form up an, an, an attack. No, I don't need to do that. Let's send Adam's regiment down here as fast as possible and capture the and have them uh, shielded by first Mississippi right about here and their leader do we have do, oh yeah we have the first cavalry here as well they're really elite there we go. And also, there are two. And you cannot shift click and, and uh, grab two units. Of course, you can't. 
Maybe I dare to uh, order our entire, what's it called again? The stewards division, stewards division, because it's it's only two brigades. Yeah, I think so. Um, are we gonna cross paths? Contact. Ooh, all right. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, we don't want. Yeah, we need. We need to go into uh, line formation here. Better safe than sorry. I feel. Or wait, maybe. So here's the Gary's division. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna have them march up towards here, even if they get met, 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 messed up. I, I can't, I can't be ours to give individual orders. So let's see if we can get these guys across the creek here. And as soon as they're across, I'm probably okay. They are across almost there we go okay we're gonna tell them to get into line single file and we'll send up the leader here and i guess we could send up the core commander a bit um and the army commander so what's going on here everything moving Probably not. Oh yes, maybe everything is moving here. Yeah, look, amazing. The cavalry is on the march. And these guys, you... I'm happy if you halt now. We need a uh, halt. Oh, it's gonna be a very long time because we're out of command, of course. Yeah. These, it's pretty dangerous what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm, I'm out of command range. This is not good. This could be potentially very dangerous what I'm doing here. I need to send up my the army commander. Where's the core commander? Here he is. Come on, get a move on. And I suppose we'll. Come here. We need this core commander up here as well. I'd rather have them move slowly in the in the rear from now on. Okay, first Georgia, I'd like you to. Uh, do we see any more? Oh yeah, we have more northern forces. Hmm. About you build a breastwork right here. Because why not? That's your orders. And I want you to send out skirmishes as well. And I want those skirmishes to cover the breastwork construction. Huh? Fancy, fancy. These guys, you can move up to here. Oh, they are in line now? They just decided on their own to march up in line. Mm. And here's the their third. Okay, so far so good. Where's their artillery? I probably forgot that very far back, didn't I? Oh yeah. Shoot, poof, duty, duty and pooty. Um. Yeah. I guess you are back here. 
going to be a while before they start moving. And we have some artillery here as well that I don't know what they belong to. I'll send them up here to the river crossing, whatever. These guys, they're moving. This, this guy is not moving. I'm kind of messed up with what I'm... How about the cavalry? It's only 12, it's only midday. So Adam's regiment kind of decided to Okay, first you need to go into line. Second, I want you to form up here on the field outside town because that's how I roll. You know what? Couldn't I take this entire brigade instead? Just have them yeah, let's do that. It's easier. My other division, where is it? Is it behind? I think so. Uh, where? No. Where is the other division? Mmm, that's him. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there he is. Okay. And yeah, maybe, maybe stuff is going as according to plan. Maybe. Now these guys. Oh yeah. It's a good thing this cavalry hasn't uh, moved up. Where's my infantry? I'm gonna give them new orders to cross the creek manually on column and same with this one right behind like there move it move it no 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 no, no. that that okay hmm. uh Chattanooga South is taken. Okay, we took the the victory objective, which is very good. Which is very good. Usually the Union AI is very offensive, very not offensive. Uh, it 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 pushes. Let's get you into line. Let's deploy some skirmishes from your unit, and let's place them here. And let's, um, I don't even know if I want these guys to be in, yeah, I can't afford, I can't build breastworks yet. Okay, someone is opening up here. I hope it's my uh, Mississippi Rifles uh, skirmishes here. I think it would be idle firing. Yep, they are. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna ask first Georgia here to engage, stop building breastworks and engage. And wait, are these guys? That's not the order I gave them. Um, third Georgia, I ordered them to line up to the right of first, but they decided to engage. They're not firing. What happens to my... Oh, my skirmishes are... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Third. I don't know what's happening here, but... Uh, I'm going to order... Second Georgia to... First, get into line. Second, send out your skirmishes. And I'm going to have the skirmishes engage. And then we'll line up the second Georgia along the creek here. No, no, I'd rather have you by the road here, behind the creek. There we go. Uh, come on, little elite Georgian troops have engaged uh, second brigade from. Well, it's 
from the fourth division under Thomas Cavalry. I don't know where, where these troops are from. Doesn't really matter, but. Uh, it's a melee, I think. And now they're retreating. Let's see. These troops are from Third Georgia. Now, after the melee, we're gonna have you place a breastwork here. No. Oh, yeah. There we go. Have your skirmishes in front. Something like that. Uh, these guys gonna start building the breastwork again. And of course. Okay. Line up. Send out. Well, move over here, I suppose. Wait. Do I rather. Yeah, that's pretty good. By the road. And I suppose. I want to have skirmishes out too. What would you know? Let's place them in front. Go, 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 go. So far, so good. I'm actually quite happy with... Uh... Oh, I forgot about these guys tonight. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I have them... They're going to be late to the fight. That's, that's okay. I'm happy I only forgot... As far as I know, yeah, it's looking actually quite good. No, no messes. Um, first Georgia. Where? Oh, we yes. Mm, let's get the cav uh, artillery up here on the road. We're gonna deploy Adams Regiment in line up here in the front. What about the artillery? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think most of my uh, of the cavalry is in a good position, in a decent position, ready to react if something happens. Hmm. Could move up some horse artillery there. All the cavalry is at the front, at the victory location. They have reached Chattanooga and it seems they have liberated Chattanooga successfully. I'm just hoping to uh, throw back. Huh, okay. So these guys, this is 3rd Georgia, instead of building the breastwork, they decided to advance here. Did you see that? That is, uh, and I read. I recently read on uh, on the Steam discussion that someone was very upset about. Oh, have you noticed recently the AI is starting to do crazy stuff? I thought it's always been there. Maybe this is a new from from the latest patch uh, thing. This guy he did not do what I told him to do, which was. line up against the creek here. This guy is about the same. I'd say I could put up a breastwork here. And these guys get in line and throw up a breastwork. And I think Chattanooga is saved. No matter what happens from now on. I'm not promising anything, but uh, really now I'm in a strong defensive line here. and. Yeah, they're happy to engage me. Question is, if, is if I want to. I mean, I've ta I've retaken Chattanooga, and they will have to retreat from this area after after the combat. And these guys need skirmishes. the The general idea of the game is, of course, that you you should be able to do this on a much higher detail level, like division or even core level. If you do that, it's going to be a disaster. That's my experience. Oh, I entirely forgot about this 
West Virginia uh, division. Okay, let, let's uh, let's make an ex experiment. I mean, we have a nice field and a nice road. So really, if I ask the West Virginians to line up here, I don't think it could have better circumstances. But let's see the shape they are in when they arrive. They start in marching column. They start lined up manually. Let's see what shape they are in when they arrive. After ordering, and then, and this is a division, not a core. It's it's a three uh, brigade division, sure, but still. Okay. Uh, okay. First off, they still have the order. Yeah, yeah, they still have the order. That's okay. I mean, the delay. I'm not complaining about the delay. They're far away from uh, their core commander. That's, that's absolutely fine. so we don't get surprised here move out some skirmishes have them take position i'm very surprised this cavalry is uh swimming oh they are of course charging my line but against an uncrossable river all right all right i see i should be able to shoot them to pieces with my artillery uh, while they're just standing there doing nothing huh Let's move up some artillery here on the road. One. St let's start with the first one. And as soon as it starts moving, we will send off the other one to maybe here in the forest. And when that starts moving... Hmm. Oh, look, they're tired from trying to cross the river. Yay! Well, they should be. Uh, what's is that? Oh, we have some artillery here from the eleventh Georgia. I, I don't quite know what corps they belong to. Seven here. It's a bit mi 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 mixed up here. I have so many different HQs. West Virginia corps should be over here, I think. Well, if I will engage, I will engage, even if they're just defending them. This is weird. Usually the Union does not defend like this. I'm quite happy about that, that they, they, they know they're outnumbered and they're not just willy nilly attacking. This is the best, but I'm not so happy with what they're doing here. It's... 1.40 in the afternoon, so we're gonna we're gonna line up until our entire army is here. Then we're gonna attack them. With um, the West Virginians. Okay, I stand corrected. They are in good shape. They are in good shape. Well, for now. Now they're crossing. Look, they're crossing over here. What's gonna happen? <gasps> Do we have a Union attack on the right? I think so. You know, I'm sorry Union, but you're too late. You are too late. We have cavalry in place for you and we yeah i'm gonna send in the west virginians now gonna have them move up in line and be behind the georgians where's where's the last west virginian brigade oh it's down here yeah gonna have them uh, line up behind here N no 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 behind yes there we go thank you mm. i'm gonna have you line up behind here i hope there we go here comes the attack oh wait 
What are you doing? Uh, I suppose we dismount these guys again and put them in open order. As I did already once uh, at the start of the battle. But the game decided that I should do it again. I think we should move up the bows attachment and priors detachment here do some sh turkey shooting eight Georgia hasn't deployed no they haven't all right I guess they can finish oh, I don't need to finish these breastworks This artillery isn't doing much good here, is it? Neither is this. It would be kind of cool if you could take a division's entire artillery and give it order to that. But you can only do the entire division or individually. I don't know why you're not in line, but I want you to be. And I want the commander to move up. Uh, and of course, I want this commander to move up. Can I have some horse artillery support? Actually, you know what? Why don't you all start firing? Since you apparently don't want to fire it well, I'm going to give you manual orders. Yeah, maybe I, I, I didn't dismount them no uh dismember no that's not the word maybe i didn't limber unlimber them that's the word here comes the virginians and i'd very much like to have them engaged in combat so i'm gonna send skirmishes to help the cavalry i'm gonna send these skirmishes one star west virginians a bit better to engage this that one um, these ones skirmishes send them out please uh, I guess they can just walk up here and fire on the third brigade and I think the parent unit can move up and advance West Virginia advance yes bit of role playing there Mm. Artillery isn't doing a lot, but hey, yeah, you, you are firing, aren't you? What about these guys here? They're not firing. That's weird. Something, something, maybe uh, melee, or why? Why? What's happening here? I think maybe Adam's regiment, it's charging. That's weird, because I, I never told him to charge. And it's a very bad idea. Yeah, But it's cavalry, it's cavalry. Maybe they'll do okay. Probably not, but you know. Ketchel's detachment, you go and shoot at that artillery, please. Uh, <laughs> about no you do that and you catch your you shoot at the third brigade i think i told you already mm. yeah. are you confused yet i'm a bit confused uh especially the, this adams regiment maneuver it's broken now and it took 400 losses and the leader was killed in action. Okay. Well, they were standing firing with their manual carabines. And then they decided to teleport, rush, charge. And it's just one of those things that the game fucks you over um, all the time. With uh, these insane uh, AI initiative things. It's just... Uh, it wasn't the worst thing that happened. But annoying, nevertheless. 
I'm gonna have the third West Virginia take its place. Are these guys? They're idle in the forest. Yeah, that's uh, that's not perfect. Second West Virginia, first West Virginia, I will have them advance, uh, first, first Mississippi, oh that's cavalry, they are, sorry I think, I think I chased all the Union troops away already, alright. Let's line up for the next incoming north. I mean, why attack all at once when you can send in... Well, they, they sent in three uh, brigades. They sent in three brigades. And they uh, massacred uh, my cavalry regiment. So, yeah, they, they did damage. Uh, no doubt about it. Mm. I want... Oh, okay, here we go. We have some incoming Union troops. I was about to say finally, but... Yes. 8th Georgia hasn't sent out their skirmishes yet uh, and I might as well deploy them along the creek along with the others but I'm keeping this these guys behind the other two and their commander should advance along with them here we go I think you, it seems like you manually have somehow uh, wait what okay I'm gonna give them order to fire with their iron napoleons very bad artillery pieces, but hey. Oh, the army. Oh, everything else has moved up. So the entire army is engaged in combat. Right. Let's see if we can find that that last Georgian artillery. I mean, fire at will apparently doesn't work right now when they're out of line of sight. Okay. Here comes the Virginians, they're wheeling about, but the order is gone, so I have to renew the order. That's annoying. I mean, no, it's not an exception, it's a feature, buggy, buggy, buggy feature. These guys should fire on these guys. They don't want, they don't want to. Okay. If they refuse to, maybe I should fall back with them. I don't know why they're not engaging here. Mm. Oh, they are. So, what we got down here is the Garris Division. I didn't know it was called Garris Division, but it is the Georgia Corps. I think it should be called, I mean, it's, these guys are in their first combat. They have this symbol here, first battle experience. But other than that, they actually have Springfield Rifle Muskets, which is, you know, the regular rifle, rifle musket. And they're in a good position. And they're only fighting one brigade, so I guess this is like the best trial fire you, you can hope for. They are not supported by artillery, that's very unfortunate. And that's because uh, the order to open up fire...
kind of it disappeared and they decided to not do that maybe they felt that they wanted to be idle instead I consider this a rather easy battle so I am uh, I'm trying to get my the troops that are least trained uh, into combat so they gain experience that that's my reasoning here okay as you can see the the skirmisher here they got scared quite easily but never mind we send out new ones Oh, they ran away already. It doesn't seem like the Union has... I mean, this army should... Union army should not have been in combat either uh, before, so... Losses so far is... Uh, 900 to 3500. So about... Yeah, that's good. That's good. And half of those came from a AI freakish accident. Engage that cap artillery out there. Yeah, this battle is going great. Um, even easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna get a uh, defensive battle for the Union for once, that I could at attack them, but no. It was a meeting engagement and it didn't work out to their advantage. There's an HQ running around. Yay! Uh, fourth division. We're not gonna capture him because you can't. I think I'm gonna go with speed 10 here. Um, yeah. We should be able to capture some artillery here. There we go. Boom. You know, who knows? Let's use our cavalry to do that. Just feels role play, feels correct, feels right to do it that way. Because mm. I am running out of ca uh, artillery pieces, I can't equip new uh, artillery batteries. And uh, enemies retreating. So very good battle the only thing i don't like is that uh anderson's regiment decided to uh, charge on its own but if you only have one of these ai brain melts brain farts every battle that's that's in in incredibly good i've had entire armies implode by just doing oh i'm just gonna do this and that and very bad okay 10 minutes and this battle is over. Still a minor victory, which I disagree with. Four to one losses, relieving Chattanooga. Come on, that that's good. With a thousand losses. See how many prisoners of war we got. I can't build a new prisoner of war camp. I don't have money. I'll send them to Anderson. Yeah, half a percent of experience and national morale. It's fine. It's better than nothing. Adams has fallen in disgrace. Yes, I agree. It was a disgrace. Attributes. Maybe he has very high initiative, so he's aggressive or something. I, I don't. I have no idea why the AI behaves like like it does. But it's always suicidal. Always. And it's too often to be a free... You know, it would be kind of fun if that happened once, every once in a while. Like a commander would do something crazy. The problem is now it happens all the time. We got two, 2,400 rifles and 1,600 captured soldiers. That's a good result, 18 guns. So, I hope you enjoyed the battle and relief and uh, recapture of Chattanooga, and I'll see you in the next one.